Hey everybody. So today I want to talk about the toxins found in avocado. I feel like we've all watched videos where we, where I think the main one is Dr. Paul Saladino, where he ranks the spectrum of toxicity of plant foods um, with olives and avocado being on the low end of toxicity and other foods on the high end of toxicity in terms of veggies and plant foods. And um, I didn't even realize that avocados had any appreciable amount of a toxin until I realized that almost every animal on the planet is cannot eat avocado because it's toxic to them. And so when you hear something like that, and then they tell you, oh, but avocado is so heart healthy, I did some research. And so here is what I found. I'm going to share my screen with you so you can see what I'm talking about. So I'm sharing my screen. Um, so what is what is the main uh, problem with avocados? Avocados have a have an, uh, a self defense mechanism called persin, P E R S I N, and that persin is an anti fungal toxin. That's a kind of fatty acid, but it's it's basically a toxin designed to kill. Um, fungal population. So we have good and bad fungal populations in our gut. So if, you, if you're consistently eating antifungal toxins, think of all of the good species of fungus that are supposed to inhabit your microbiome, what is happening to them? So in animals, it's been well documented that person leads to heart disease and lesions in the heart, mastitis, inflammation of the mammary glands, diarrhea, and even death. So this is a dissertation that I found, um, and I'm going to show you how crazy this stuff is. The conclusion of this dissertation that was completed in 2018 was that despite anecdotal claims that avocados are toxic to dogs and cats, avocado meal, which is basically you get the, uh, the skins and the uh, seed of the avocado, which actually has even higher concentration. It has the greatest concentration of person. And you um, basically turn it into, into flour. So it's called avocado meal. Basically, you're basically eating pure person. <laughs> So despite anecdotal claims, they're not really that anecdotal. There are a lot of studies that the woman who did the dissertation literally um, mentions and cites in her dissertation. Avocado meal may be a suitable dietary fiber source for the pet food industry. <laughs> Cats and dogs are obligate carnivores. They don't need fiber. You shouldn't give them any fiber, let alone try to figure out ways to give them even more fiber. So... The reason I mentioned this dissertation, just to show you um, how academia works, and I know this is geared towards, you know, pets and pet foods, but why even bother study something like that? Because this is the same kind of stuff that happens with human nutrition studies, where they'll try to come up with some Franken food just because they can get funding for it. It makes zero sense to conduct this whole study and try to feed your pets foods that are inherently toxic to them. But moving on, um, what would happen if you chronically ingested low doses of person in humans, right? If we know that it leads to heart disease in, in animals and lesions in the heart, why would we still consume avocado and promote it as a heart healthy food, knowing what happens in almost every other species on the planet? So my recommendation is get rid of the avocado. It is not going to help you in any way, shape, or form until further notice. And I doubt we're going to have any additional studies that show that they're actually healthy for you. The only reason that avocados are promoted as health foods is because they are high in a kind of fat called monounsaturated fat. What they don't tell you is that 50% of beef fat is actually monounsaturated fat. And you can get monounsaturated fat from beef without any accompanying person or toxins or plant anti-nutrients. Moving on. So I found this study um, where they talk about um, here. Yeah. With, well, that talks about the presence of person in the actual pulp. Because a common objection when we talk about anti-nutrients is that, oh, yeah, person is found in the skin and in the seed of the avocado, but not really that much in the pulp. 
Well, yes, it is found in the pulp. And um, here it is. Although ACO person, ACO stands for acetogenin. Acetogenin is like the family name of uh, all the anti-nutrients found in avocados. Person is just one subtype. Although ACO person has been reported before in both avocado leaves and fruits, the latter contains less. Yes, of course. And you have the exact numbers here. So of course it's going to have less. But why would you consume a toxin for weeks, months, years on end, decades on end, what do you think is going to happen when you hit your 70s? Do you really think you're going to be free of heart disease? Okay, there is more. Another study. In contrast, person was found to be the most abundant acetogen in a leaf and the pulp, accounting for 52 and 36 percent per weight of total acetogenins present in each tissue, respectively, while it only represented 14 percent of total acetogenins present in the seed. So again, just showing you that they are found in the pulp, not just in the skin and in the seeds. And the thing that was shocking to me is that they're trying to patent the use of acetogenins in food. They want to patent, for example, a um, person to use it in food. Here it is. This is the name of the study that's attempting to do that. It's called converting a avocado seeds, this is the worst part of it, into a ready-to-eat snack and analyzing for person and amygdalin. Let me show you. Here it is. <laughs> avocado seeds can be extruded into a porous puffed snack. So instead of snacking on chips, now you can have a healthier snack of pure person. Uh, the concentration of amygdalin is another kind of we don't, we don't worry about that. The level of person in avocado seeds decreases after friction cooking. Sufficient antioxidant activity was maintained to enable use as a functional food. Why would you ever take any kind of any anti-nutrient, any kind of toxin, no matter how much you minimize its concentration on a regular basis? Why would you ever want to introduce that to the food supply. And what's, the worst thing is going to happen is that not only are they going to introduce it to the food supply, but then they are going to promote it as a healthy functional food that is going to probably, they're going to say, oh, it's high in fiber, you know? <laughs> yeah. So this is the one where they're trying to patent. I think that when I read the full article, um, they'll show that... Um, the, I think they've already even submitted the patent for it. So that's the that's pretty much what I found. And I figured since we're talking about avocado, let me create something for the occasion. So I created t-shirts that say avocado no <laughs> for both men and women so that people can ask you, what do you mean by avocado? No, I thought we all loved avocado, even the low carb folks. And then you can explain to them about person and you can share with them this video. So um, I'm going to post the link to those shirts, um, male shirts and female um, shirts as well in the description box below. They're going to be, I'll, I'll put them in the first line so it's easier for you to find them. I hope you enjoyed this content. If you did, give this video a thumbs up, subscribe and hit that little notification bell icon so YouTube alerts you every time I post a new video. Thank you all for watching and I will see you in the next one.